my name is Bruno Pais Manso. I'm a journalist from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I have worked 20 years for 20 years in a daily, a big daily newspaper. I just dropped, uh, just quit the job the last year. I started to make a research about homicides in Sao Paulo, a postdoctor research. Uh, and I'm working with some colleagues that dropped the journalism as well in a group that cover uh, human rights issues, violence policy issues, uh, prison uh, problems issues, just see, uh, un uh, unfair procedure just issues. Yes, it's a, it's a fantastic experience. It's very difficult because we are, we work in a site that's called Ponte, in English is bridge. Uh, we try to make a connection between opposite sides. So it's this, this is the goal of the, the our publication. Uh, but there are um, maybe 14 journalists that they used to work in big newsroom uh, and we just make a kind of voluntary job uh, for one year. But uh, we, c we start uh, making a kind of dialogue with society. We have been done this in the newsroom, but it's different. So we need to make connection with uh, in uh, NGOs, we try to make connections with group of activists in human rights. So it's a different job. Uh, is instigating a new role of journalism. So it's a very rich moment we are living because the the our job our work is uh, dying the way that used to be, but is, uh, re uh, is now growing up a new kind of doing the profession. So it's a rich moment. It's, it sounds like a, a reimagining of, of how a journalist functions and, and a sort of a, a blurring of the line between a journalist and an activist in a sense. Yes. Would you agree? Yes, very much. Very much. I think it's in even if you want to do activism, you must you know that there, is, there are differences between journalism and activism. I think a uh, journalist go with the truth. Uh, of course, we can reach it, but it must be the goal. So uh, I write very much about the police violence, but I can't miss my uh, credibility. So I can't do activism and defense reforms as a journalist. I really try to understand the police behavior and police values. So I really need to understand uh, and to be uh, uh, and and write good stories and just uh, stories that make justice with the truth. So activism, uh, it's a kind of uh, political action. So you have already the truth before. Journalism, you need to find, this is the process, to find what's the, what's the truth, to find that's the best way to, 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 to put the story in the paper or in the internet. Or I think the big question after this crisis, journalism crisis, uh, about forms of to pay the journalism jobs and that we are living nowadays, there is a huge question. Why is journalism for? What's the, the role of the journalism in society? What's the role of the journalism in democracy? And uh, we need to enter this to, to survive. And uh, the role of journalism is to is to fiscalize the power, the, the, to fiscalize to fiscalize the people who has got power, and to put it light in some uh, this deviant action of the power. So we need to show the deviant action because the power needs to change the way of they are acting. So this is a very important role of journalism. So in police, uh, I know a lot of K 
cases in Brazil, uh, the police kill some some teenager, and the in, uh, the unfairly uh, his mother wants to claims to punishment of the police, so he threatened his mother too. So it's a power on one side, is no power at all in another side. So we need to put a light in these situations to to embarrass the the power. Uh, so this is very important rule. And the second the second rule in my point of view is to look inside ourselves. Uh, like if we go to psychiatrists, we put our society in psychiatrists. So you need to look to inside ourselves and to find the truth about ourselves, about our conflicts, about our shadows, about our dark sides. Uh, so we journalists, the people uh, don't like journalism with reason because our role is to sh show something that no one wants to face with.